Listen, the best iPad keyboard case is not Apple's Magic Keyboard. It is actually a combo touch case by Logitech. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Logitech's combo touch case that I've been using for the past year. I'll discuss the pros and the cons and this one great feature that made me instantly choose this over Apple's Magic Keyboard. So if you're in the market for an iPad keyboard case, then stick around to see if the Logitech combo touch is for you. Starting off with the design and quality of this case, this case is made out of a woven outer fabric that feels nice to the touch. The case itself is very thin for having a keyboard and sits flush against the iPad. However, I do have to say, I prefer the Magic Keyboard's case texture and look more, but this is still a good looking case as well. And let's be honest, looks could only take you so far. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? For example, this is an actual case and it will actually protect your iPad at all times while also providing a keyboard. The woven material protects the front and the back of the iPad, but it also is locked into place with this plastic cover that will protect its corners from accidental drops. This case has all the necessary cutouts you need for the speakers, the USB input, the camera, and even a perfect place for the Apple Pencil. The case is thin, but it is still too thick to be able to dig your fingers down to click those buttons. So Logitech created their buttons on top of it to solve that issue. Next, I wanna talk about the functionality of this case and the one feature that made me choose this over Apple's Magic Keyboard. Starting off with the keyboard. The key depth is very good, but obviously not like a mechanical keyboard. The keyboard is backlit and can be adjusted up to 16 levels. It has a full row of iPadOS shortcut keys such as home, screen brightness, on-screen keyboard, search, key brightness, previous play, pause, and next track, volume, control, and lock. Now moving on to the trackpad, Logitech promotes it as a click anywhere trackpad. I can confirm that this is definitely true. It is highly responsive with little pressure and the big size of the trackpad is similar to a laptop's. Now, what really makes this case stand out from the rest and the sole reason I chose this keyboard over the Apple Magic Keyboard is its versatility. You have four different ways to use this case depending on what you are doing. First is type mode or laptop mode. This is obviously the main reason you are buying this type of case. But the second one is view mode and this is where you can actually detach the keyboard, pull out the kickstand to watch movies, this convenience is great because you don't have to remove the iPad from the case every time you want to use it in the iPad mode. And the third mode is sketch mode where you fully extend the kickstand for the perfect angle to take handwritten notes or draw with an Apple Pencil. Outside of time mode, this is probably the mode I use the most because I like to take digital notes. If you want to learn more about the benefits of transitioning to digital notes, click the video in the top right corner here. Then there's read mode where you can detach the keyboard and reattach it with the keys turned inward so you can read books, articles, and much more without misplacing the keyboard. The case is flexible to whatever you are doing and can range from a 10 degree to a 60 degree angle. Reattaching the keyboard is actually very easy with this magnet and it's actually a very satisfying experience. The case is not battery operated so you don't have to worry about its battery wearing down it actually charges through the iPad via Apple's smart connector, so it will last a very long time. Now, as great as the case this is, it wouldn't be an honest review if I didn't discuss the negatives. Starting off with just opening the case, the mattocks are strong and the case is flush with the iPad, which makes it difficult to open sometimes and takes me a few tries to do so. This is even harder if the Apple Pencil is in the way. The only other negative I found is, well, it does add a little bit of weight. It's not the lightest, and that is expected because you obviously are added on a keyboard. Now, when it comes to pricing, the Logitech Combo Touch comes in at $149.99 for the iPad 7th, 8th, and 9th generation, and up to $229.99 for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's not cheap, but in comparison, the Apple Magic Keyboard starts at $299.99 for the iPad Air and 11 inch iPad Pro and up to $349.99 for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. That extra $100 can easily be spent on iPad accessories like an Apple Pencil, a screen protector, or just your groceries for the week. If you guys wanna see more reviews like this, please help the channel by subscribing. And if you are curious and if an iPad can replace your laptop, then go ahead and watch this video on your left and I'll see you guys in the next one.